All right, everybody, hope you're doing well. Uh, today I've got a cool video for you. Um, it's about my favorite shotgun and my probably my favorite type of bayonet um, and how they combine together to make a really cool item. So, uh, without further ado, I'll show you the shotgun. This is my Mossberg 590. Uh, this had a heat shield and a bayonet lug on it. Holds nine rounds of two and three quarter. And uh, real handy, very light. Um, I had a side saddle of uh, three inch Wolf eight pellet double op buck. And uh, yeah, just a real cool gun. I added a, I put the sling swivel off this nut here. I put it behind the bayonet lug. Uh, for this reason, I'll show you here. To attach that. that. For those of you who may not know, is an M7 bayonet. That's probably my favorite type of bayonet, um, probably ever. The what's cool is what I've essentially created is a modern man's trench gun trench broom. Um, it's an American heritage sort of classic thing to have a shotgun with a bayonet on it and uh, I'm real happy to have it. The uh, uh, 590 has double action bars, has a heat shield, bayonet lug, uh, military tested and proven, um, real cool and same for the bayonet. So I'll go ahead and show you this bayonet because I got this bayonet, unissued, gen cut produced, this unissued M10 scabbard for it, brand new. They came in the military surplus uh, plastic and uh, rust resistant foil from the government. Um, and the guy who was selling them included a P38 with each of the items. So because I got a pair of bayonets and scabbards. I uh, now have four unused P38 can openers now, which is really cool. They're like real neat little knickknacks. And you very usable. Um, so yeah, this uh, M7 came to me very dry. No scratches, no wear, no nothing. The little fiberglass or bakelite, whatever grip, um, is in great shape. There's no nothing on it. It's just a brand new unissued thing. I think this was a 80s or 90s production uh, bayonet. They stopped uh, using them in the military in like the 90s so this is a, probably a real late production one just never issued. Um, I uh, took it apart because it came very dry and I oiled it and uh, I kept it. I keep it real oily because I keep it in the scabbard just to have it uh, you know, keep it from rusting. Uh, these came sharp with a good point and uh, real, really, really cool. I'll go ahead and snap this one back. Actually, no, you know what? Let's do the American thing. And put it on my shotgun there. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, the 590 series are uh, currently the military shotgun of choice. Um, the 590A1s are usually mil uh, Navy models, and the 590s are issued out to various other kinds of units. Um, this happens to be a 590. It's not an A1. I'm fine with that. I don't really need a big heavy barrel. Um, but I got it because at the time I just really... Uh, always wanted one of these, finally had a good opportunity to get one, got one, and I've had it for a little while and uh, just was always anxious to put a bayonet on the front of it. Um, the M7s for a long time have been like 70 80 90 dollars depending on the condition and who made it. And all of a sudden some guy on eBay, or on, well Amazon I guess, uh, has them for real cheap and they're unissued so it's just real cool. Um, so I got two for the collection, and uh, it leaves me the ability to uh, put a one on an AR build if I want to build an AR in the future. Um, so yeah, that's uh, my modern man's trench gun.
very excited, very cool uh, piece. 590s are reliable, they're go to hell and back shotguns, and uh, I really enjoy this one. It's got the tang safety on top, um, and uh, yeah, just wanted to show you guys some, one of my favorite guns, just a real nice shotgun with a real reliable full tang bayonet. Um, it disassembles real easy for cleaning and is uh, very sturdy. So yeah, that's my uh, my modern day trench gun, trench broom. Hope you have a good day and I will talk to you later. Bye bye.